Hello everyone, Fred Rex here, and we're I'm back to do another re review, movie review, but it's not a movie review. It's actually it's actually a show on Netflix, and it's actually one of the best shows on Netflix, Stranger Things. So today I'm gonna review Stranger Things season two. Yeah, I'm, I just don't know why I said that really weirdly. So whatever. So um, I reviewed all right. I reviewed the first season, season one, ever since October, October 26, and I seen the whole second season. I saw, I seen the whole season with my brothers, with, yeah, with my brothers, and I enjoyed it. I just really liked season two. I thought it was better than this, the first season, but season one is a lot more exciting and a lot more interesting and a lot more action-packed actually the second season is actually a lot more action-packed well, sorta and it's season two kinda scared me and it was really really cool so anyways there's gonna be some spoilers in this review if any of you guys never seen season two go on Netflix and watch it cuz it's a really good season so anyways well, alright, when it was the beginning of the season, season two, um, all four of our main lovable characters, uh, Mike, uh, Will, and Dustin, and Lucas, they're going out trick-or-treating when they're Ghostbusters, because it started in October 1984. That's when the, when, that's when the first Ghostbusters movie came out, back in 1984. And they're being Ghostbusters, trick-or-treating, and... When it's the beginning, well, this is my sister is in there. Sorry, this is my sister just came in here while being invited. Actually, she just, you know, so he is, she just, just came in here without telling me. All right, she just wants her chair, uh, mom's chair back in here. So, anyways, so Will, uh, Mike, Will, Dustin, and Lucas are Ghostbusters and. They go trick or treating, but in the beginning of the show, when they're going into the arcade place, uh, Will's having he, it's the first time he's having these episodes, being back into the upside down world, and he goes outside and sees this strange shadow monster, and Mike keeps, keeps calling him, and he's and he's like, "Are you okay?" And he's and Will's like, "I'm fine. Just need fresh air." But then after that, what happens when he when they go trick or treating? It happens again when he keeps on having these episodes when he sees this shadow monster, and he always drawing pictures of the monster, and he keeps drawing pictures that he's calling himself Zombie Boy because everyone, actually, <laughs> everyone calls him Zombie Boy because they thought he's dead because the first season they thought he's dead. So anyway, um, Chief Hopper, Chief. Chief Hopper is keeping Eleven in her in his house in the forest in in the forest. Cause ever since the last season, he actually Eleven actually um got as actually alive, and she was actually in the upside down world, and she found a hole in the wall in the upside down world, and she got out, she got through it, and she's back into the real world, and she's and she went to the forest. And she found the chest where the egos are, and Chief Hopper keeps leaving them there. And Chief Hopper founds her, and she and he keeps her in her ha in his house, and yeah, and just keeping her there for months. And then, and uh, and Dustin, when he came home, he actually heard something that's from it. That came from his trash can, and it's actually the little slug that Will puked out in the sink ever since the ending of the first season. And uh, and every time he feeds him chocolate or something like that, he just uh, grows. It just grows and keeps growing. And he even shows them the little creature. And they and there's a little and there's a new kid in. There's there's a new kid in their school, named this girl with with red long hair named Max. 
So her name is Max, and they keep spying on her, and Dustin and Lucas, or Lucas having a crush on her and everything. But Mike gets jealous because Eleven's gone, so. And, uh, and when Dustin, and, yeah, they just show them the little creature, the little slug thing. I just forgot what they called him. So, I, I just forgot what they called him. And when Dustin came back home, when he kept the little worm thing in his room, and it just escaped, and it actually ate Dustin's cat, and it was pretty ter it was pretty disturbing. And so yeah, he just keeps them, and it's grown into a a demogorgon dog. So so he kept them in his uh, in his basement, and then he's gone. And um, and Will's big brother. Jonathan and Mike's sister, big sister Nancy, so they're together to do, I just forgot what they're supposed to do, but they got caught by the secret government and tells them about the upside down wall gate thing, so. And uh, when Will keeps on having these episodes, the shadow monster actually got him and he keeps telling it to go away. It's, he, he tries to keep telling it to go away, but actually got into his it actually got into him, and it just took over his mind or something like that. So the shadow monster took over his mind, and it's actually inside him. And uh, every time, every time the secret government agencies, actually the secret government, when he spray fire onto the ten on the the vine tentacle things in the upside down world, it actually hurts him and and actually upsets him, the monster inside of him, the shadow inside the will, and. And uh, when in the upside, when it's the upside down world, in the upside down world, it, the demo, there's more and more demogorgon dogs, demo dogs, and they're pretty terrifying. They are, and they and they will kill you. And then, so yeah, they went into, so they were in there when they're into this lab in the mat lab in the middle of the forest, like in the first season. They they started getting attacked by the Demogorgon dogs. The, all the scientists and the soldiers got killed by the demo dogs, and they escaped. And and Joyce's boyfriend Bob, the guy who was actually Mikey when he was a kid in the Goonies, and he's actually an adult and he's in that show. So he so he's gone and he got eaten by the Demogorgon dogs, the demo dogs. And then they they escaped and he went back to Will's house and they got to try to find a way that. To tell the tell Will and everything. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So yeah, and I forgot Eleven. So Eleven, her real name. So she went to her mother's house and she's and she saw her mom, and 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 she said her real name. I uh, I just forgot. Is it Jace? Jace. I I just forgot. Uh, Eleven's real name is probably Jace, or um wrong. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. So, and she's actually dreaming inside of a dream, and she keeps on in a, in a circle dream. Everything happened to Eleven when she was born as a baby, and, and she's trying to get her back, but and and Eleven's evil dad actually got her and just, just knocked her out and everything. And Eleven actually looked into the script files about her sister like her sis sister, you know, into when he when she was with her in the rainbow room, and she's actually and Eleven went to New York and actually found her and she was actually with her with her gang, her group of other thieves or something like that, and she's teaching her how to make the powers right stronger to pick up a truck or something like that, and you keep on think. She keeps that she keeps telling Eleven to think of all the things you really don't like to, that really you really hate, and she actually did it. And when she's screaming really hard and her nose keeps bleeding, so yeah. And she went back and she's gonna help her friends. And she's actually back and she went to the Will's house and we're and they're all together and they're trying to get the shadow monster out of Will and everything. So they all split it up and everything and. And then, 
So Chief Hopper and Eleven just went back to the lab, so they have to kill, shut the gate for good to keep the Shadow Monster in there. And and then and then and then Joyce and Jonathan and Nancy gotta get the monster out of Will, because you have to use a lot of heat to keep, to get it out. So they got it out, and Jonathan tells in a walkie-talkie, Chief talk, tells Chief, Chief Hopper that the monster's out, and now and now Eleven's actually. Shutting the gate where the shadow monster is, and the demo and the demogorgon dogs trying to stop them, and they actually shut the gate, and and uh and and the other characters, Mike and Will and Lucas and Max and the ex-boyfriend guy, I don't even know his name, and they, so they went back to the pumpkin patch underground to burn all the tentacles and everything in that feeding nest chamber or something like that underground in that pumpkin patch and when the gate is closed when Eleven shut the gate where the mo shadow monster is it's actually closed and everything's back to normal and yeah everything's back to normal so yeah the ki so the other characters just burnt everything underground in the pumpkin patch and and uh... Joyce and Jonathan and Nancy got the shadow monster out of will and Eleven shut the gate and that's it. And now the shadow monster is stuck in the upside down world and he can't get out. So Wow. And in and then when it gets to December of nineteen eighty four, they went to this they went to the, their middle junior high school for a snowflake dancing party. And so yeah. And uh and Max is and Lucas is dancing with Mac. Max and this girl shows up to dance with Will. I don't even know where she is, so I was like, okay, okay, have fun, dance, and that probably will be Will's new girlfriend, maybe. And and Luca and and Dustin is alone, and Nancy actually gonna dance with him, cause yeah, it just helps him helps him out and everything. And when he got the new teeth. And he makes that eh sound. I just don't know how to make that sound. So she's like, "Stop that! That's weird." And and uh, Mike is alone. And then Eleven shows up, and they start dancing. And 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 I think that is actually the best couple in the whole show. Mike and Eleven, actually Jace or whatever. So so they're back together and they're dancing. And in the ending of the show, and then. And then when they're dancing in the, in the junior high school, and then the, the camera starts turning, and it went back to the upside down world, and it shows a scene of the junior high school, and the shadow monster shows up when he's on top of the when he's on top of the school, and then it ends. Season two ends. So, so that's so that's it. So, I guess the shadow monster will be back until season three. Maybe. So I can't wait till season three next year. So it's a great show. I recommend you watching season two. So I love the show. I enjoyed it. So I'm gonna rate this I'm gonna rate season Stranger Things season two a ten out of ten. And it just can't get better. It just it just can't get better. They gotta keep going. So it's a great show. Watch it. So so if you enjoyed this review, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and you won't miss out more of my movie reviews and other fun videos. So stay tuned, and bye-bye, and peace out.